Hey guys, Ivan here and we are one day out of Romania Pro Show and this right here, this photo that you're watching is last year's lineup, the top 6. So the winner was Regan Grimes, though Regan Grimes will not be competing this weekend because he already won Egypt Pro and he's qualified for the Mr. Olympia. Though Egypt Pro wasn't his last station this year, uh, he also did uh, Prague Pro a week later and these photos are two days after Prague Pro and he looks full blown. Now these photos were taken after a leg day, as you can see his legs are looking bigger and fuller and that's probably something he needs to work on in the off season, he actually needs to get those legs a little bit bigger, especially that inner part, the adductor area, he needs to get a little bit more meat in there and just to grow overall a little bit more, get more maturity, but ever since he started working with Milo Sharchev, he made so much progress, man. I actually asked Dorian Hamilton, his former coach, what was the issue? Why wasn't he so shredded and so on while he was working with him? Is it because the relationship became too friendly? He said yes, that's why. He says Regan was working way harder now with Milos than he ever was with Dorian. And that's why. So it wasn't thick skin, it wasn't uh, insulin, it wasn't type of training, whatever. It was simply him not dieting and not training hard enough. And as soon as Milos took over, Regan blew up. He came bigger, fuller and more conditioned than ever. And I wanted to say congrats to Milos and to Regan as well for that Mr. Olympia qualification. At the Prague Pro though, he was third. The winner was Samson Dauda and the second spot was Rafael Brandau. From what I saw, it was a close battle, I really liked Raphael's look, but Samson was just a little bit bigger, fuller, rounder. Samson won, so why is he doing another show? Just to win more money? Um, how hungry can he really be? How hard will he be dieting and prepping for this show? You guys know that Raphael will bring his best, because he's hungry for the win. He needs to win this show. In order to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, Samson has nothing really to prove, I mean the only motivation he has is money. Is that motivation enough to go through hell? Probably not. So if I was a betting man, I would bet on Rafael for this show. If you consider everything, you know, the fact that Samson won, but also simply by the way Rafael looked at Prague Pro. He looked amazing, he looked really good. And he actually says that he's four and a half kilos, which is about 10 pounds, 10 pounds bigger now. What does this mean? He surely didn't add 10 pounds mass of muscle. So last week at the same time he was 4.5 kilos or 10 pounds lighter than he is right now. So he's coming bigger, fuller. I hope his conditioning will be at least the same. And if he does bring like good polish, if he really comes on and Samson comes the same or a little bit off, which, which will probably be the case, you know, he doesn't have the hunger right now because he won. I think Rafael is the safest bet for this show. Samson is a great bodybuilder, man. He has really good shape, really good structure. He's a little bit taller guy. He's really heavy. And uh, he finally actually created some solid conditioning. It's nothing too special. He could be sharper. His coach is uh, also Milos Sharchev. Yes, Milos did a really good job with, with coaching this year, with coaching these top pro guys, and uh, most of them really had a trouble bringing the conditioning, and now they figured it out. So Samson brought his best conditioning so far. He could be sharper, but with this shape, with this structure, he's a hard man to beat. So again, it's going to be a tough battle, but I do have Rafael beating him. Now, we also have Rolly Winkler doing this show. Rolly Winkler, this whole year... He couldn't get out of that top 4, top 5 zone, you know, he's not doing well. And I think he should just stop right now, focus on the offseason and try to qualify maybe next year for another Mr. Olympia. I don't know if he can get the qualification in this, in this season, maybe based on points, but it's not really, it's not going to be easy for sure. So he keeps competing, I mean, he looks big, he looks bigger now than he looked uh, earlier this year, but the conditioning is not there. And, you know, for somebody of his uh, magnitude of a bodybuilder, being fifth at these kind of shows, this, I wouldn't say lower level shows, but they're not Arnold Classic shows, not Mr. Olympia, not New York Pro even. So, I mean, Rolly, maybe he should just stop right now and have some rest, relax, and then start an off-season, a proper off-season, where he can put the muscle back on and he has enough time to get conditioned, but seriously conditioned. So I don't have Rolly winning uh, Romania Pro, no. So I do have Rafael winning this show. Alright, so another client of Milos Sharchev, Muhammad Alamam, 
who just took fourth at the Egypt Pro where Regan Grimes won, he had a serious car accident. So he made this post, he posted these photos and he says, yesterday I had a serious car accident in St. Petersburg. Many injuries in different places in my body, can't come back to the gym and I think I will not be able to compete in the next six months. Thank God I still have a life. So there you go, Mohamed al had a serious car accident. Now, as, uh, as you can see, he's able to post photos and to take a photo. I don't know if this is taken in the hospital, it looks like it. And uh, he's able to write. So I guess it's not like life-threatening, even though he says, thank God I'm alive. But uh, it doesn't seem like it's something to be taken lightly. So he's not able to train and to compete in six months. So we'll see, maybe he will post more details about what exactly happened, how bad are those injuries, uh, how bad was the accident, are there any other uh, casualties, I don't know anything, uh, I just saw this post right here, so I'm reporting he had a car accident, he's not gonna be able to compete anymore, and not this year at least, uh, not in another six months, but he's not seriously injured, uh, he's alive, uh, no, no, this is not another death in bodybuilding, when I saw this photo, I was scared that he, he died as well, because Milo shared it and some other guys, so yeah, no, he's alive, and, and not really well, he has some injuries, but he will heal for sure, and in about six months we'll see him again on the stage, so it's all good, it's all fine, I mean, it's, not, it's not great, but uh, it could be worse, as he says, thank God he still has a life. So you guys remember this photo from the beginning of the video? On the far right there is Lionel Biecki, who was supposed to compete at the Arnold Classic, though he did not show up for whatever reason. I mean, he said that he wasn't able to travel. I can't really remember what was the reason, I, something like that. He wasn't able to leave the country or to get into the United States. Anyways, he didn't compete. Now he posted a photo, this one, in which he looks great. He says it's not all about the size, but he looks huge here. So if he wasn't able to travel to the United States to do the Arnold Classic, why is he not doing any of these shows that are happening right now in Europe, where he is stationed at? He is from France. And uh, Prague, he's in Czech Republic, that's not too far. Romania also, very close to where he lives, maybe two or three hours of flying. So he's in shape. Uh, if this is recent, I don't know if this is recent, but I guess it is, it looks like a physique update. So if that's the case, if he's looking like this right now, why is he not doing any shows, at least European ones? I don't know, I don't know, he said, he, he promised so many times so far that he will be competing, and he didn't compete, not yet. So I'm, I'm curious, what is the problem? And I'm really excited to see him back on stage, because this guy has all the tools necessary to win any pro show, really if he brings the conditioning, but right now, in this photo right here, he looks great, he looks in shape, he looks big, he looks very, very symmetrical, uh, very, very good aesthetics, genetics are just on his side, he has all the tools, he just is not doing enough, I don't know which kind of, what kind of problems he has, maybe he has a good, uh, proper excuse, I don't know, but this is him right now, he looks great, and I wish to see him on stage as soon as possible. And for the end of this video, we have Derek Lunsford, who basically says that he wants to do the Open eventually. He is a young bodybuilder, as he says here. He's 28, and he already won the Mr. Olympia. He was looking like he was prepping for the Open. In his prep for this year's Mr. Olympia, he looks like he cannot make the weight. He looked like he was 250, 260. Somehow, he managed to go down to 212, and he actually bring the shape. But he has such an amazing frame that it's such a pity if he stays in the in the in the 212. It's very limiting, and he's aware of that. He says that he wants to see where his body can go, how how far it can actually go, and uh, I think open division is eventually going to be the right move. So you have guys like uh, Hari Chupan who did really well when they moved to the open, but Hari he doesn't have the biggest frame. Then you have also Sean Clarida, who won a pro show in the Open <laughs> just recently. But can he be like a winner in the Mr. Olympia? No, 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 no way. Derek has a lot more potential, even if you ask me, he has more potential, maybe even than Hadi, simply because of his structure. Now, Hadi has so much quality, crazy conditioning, he has so much, like a bodybuilder, he is really complete. 
but he doesn't have the big structure. Derek does have that. So if he keeps on packing muscle and he comes conditioned eventually in the open in a couple of years, two, three, five years, that can be a serious package that can hurt some other open bodybuilders. I think his place is in the open, but maybe not right now, maybe in a couple of years. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. For more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys, and all the best. Bye-bye.